there, and welcome to our look at the constellations. Today we're going to look at Sagitta, the arrow, a constellation of the northern sky, and one of the smaller ones. Although it does have some interesting objects. The major stars, no named major stars, but Gamma Sagittae is the brightest star, an orange giant with an apparent magnitude of 3.51, and it's 274 light years away from us. Delta Sagittae is a close multiple star system with a red bright giant for the primary component. The secondary component is a white or blue white main sequence star, which orbits the primary component every 3,700 days. The system is about 448 light years away from us and has a combined apparent magnitude of 3.68. Alpha Sagittae, which occasionally is called Sham, is the third brightest star in Sagittarius. It's a yellow bright giant with an apparent magnitude of 4.39 and it's 620 light years away from us. And finally, Beta Sagittae is a yellow giant with an apparent magnitude of 4.38 and it's 470 light years distant from the solar system. If I can pause for one moment and just say please subscribe to this channel, it means a lot to me because it shows me that people are interested in what I'm doing. Also, it means a lot because YouTube see the subscriptions going up and realize that people like what I'm doing and, and they promote me as well. There's no money for me in this, but uh, please subscribe if you can. Just click the little button at the bottom. Thank you. Let's continue. In terms of deep sky objects, we have Messier 71, a loosely concentrated globular cluster with an apparent magnitude of 6.1, about 13,000 light years distant. And it was discovered by the Swiss astronomer, Philippe Lois de Chasso, apologies for any mispronunciation there, in 1746. It's about 27 light years across and it has the luminosity of about 13,000 suns. The Necklace Nebula, which is PNG054.2 to 03.4, is a planetary nebula, approximately 15,000 light years distant from us discovered in 2005 and it was created when a giant star came too close to its binary companion and exploded thus producing the nebula m1-67 is a nebula formed by expelled material from a wolf rayet star wr124 it's almost six light years across and is expanding at a rate of about a hundred thousand miles an hour 150,000 kilometers an hour with an estimated age of about 20,000 years. It's one of the fastest known runaway stars in the Milky Way with a radial velocity of about 200 kilometers per second and it was discovered in 1938 by the American astronomer and spectroscopy pioneer Paul Merrill. Its estimated age is only about 8.6 million years and its initial mass was probably about 25 times that of the Sun but it is now only nine solar masses because it's blown off a huge portion of its material. WR124 lies at a distance of 10,000 light years from Earth and it has a luminosity 150,000 times that of the Sun. Its apparent magnitude, though, is 11.5. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at Sagittarius. It does have some interesting objects in it. Um, stay safe, take care, dark skies, and speak to you next time. Bye for now.